No, no. Uh, actually, I've got a question for you. Just in one minute, okay? What do skits give you exactly? Like, why do you guys like skits so much? Why? Why? You know, and what do they teach you? What do they teach you? Do they teach you to be sexualized or some other sort of evil? You know. Anyways, we'll talk more about that in this episode, okay? Because it is getting very annoying. So, hi, guys. Welcome back. You know, if you haven't watched my latest episode, go and do that right now. In fact, pause this one, go and watch that first, and then come back and watch this one because it's very essential you understand certain things. Okay, so why do we like skits so much? Why, why are we so enamored with media influence? Do you know there's so many things that can lay at the feet of media influence? So many things I can blame media influence for. In fact, I wrote them down. It's more than this, but I tried to write them down. Now, the normalization of teenage pregnancies in certain parts of the world, including to the mothers, including to the mothers, they said, well, I consented and I have a boyfriend at 16 and I'm already a mother of one or two at 16. I can lay the blame of that on media influence and the idiotic things that these movies have taught them over the years and over the decades. And we can see the rise of the negativity it has brought into our lives the normalization of negativity, the normalization of madness, okay? Now, another thing is the introduction of of, uh, pedophilia. The introduction of pedophilia and the rise in pedophilic consumption, especially when it comes to uh, pornography. The evil that has, you know, now resulted in an increase in child trafficking. Because these idiotic movies, and yes, I'm, I mean, I'm very pissed off right now. So yeah, this, uh, this episode is going to, we're going to be getting far, far more real. Okay. So the introduction of pedophilia, which has led to the rise of child abuse, uh, what do you call it? Child trafficking, child sexualization. Okay. Some people, even with their mothers are also kidnapped. Okay. This is a real life happening. This is happening in Mexico. It's happening in different parts of South America. Okay, and this is what they present to us as good. Now, apologies for the lighting, but we're just going to have to make do. Now, another thing is a rise in homosexuality. Okay, the introduction of homosexuality through the movies. First, it was introduced as a sickness in the 60s, you know, to, you know, convince and confuse those <clears throat> who should have seen it as the horror that it is, as the abomination that it is, that, oh, it is a sickness, so they don't have a choice, you know. Then they now change it, that, oh, no, it's a lifestyle choice. Now it's basically celebrated, and now there are some parts you will be arrested if you try to stop or to even say anything against that, okay? There was a, people are getting arrested at pride parades for preaching, and what is the major introduction of this garbage? What is the major reintroduction of this abomination? Media influence. Media influence. Before the introduction of the movies, consistently pushing this subliminally, before the introduction of the songs, before the introduction of all of that, less than 1% of the population, you know, in any part of the world, really, especially with the introduction of Christ, agreed that they were, you know, homosexual or whatever, you know. But because of the introduction of this, and because it is ultimately a spiritual thing, you know, now we have an increase of that. You know, because people are increasingly blinded. But media influence is the is the source of the introduction, you know, and the source of the desensitization and, and the and the normalization of madness. Okay, so there's also, in fact. I'm just going to skip through the rest. There's also the reintroduction of incest, you know, abominations, and over-sexualized generation. That is definitely to be laid at media's influence feet. A rise in racist mindset, especially in uh, certain parts of the world. A rise in transgenderism. Okay. These ridiculous and serious problems can be traced at their roots to media influence. Because a child is not born a perverted creature. A child is born innocent and, you know, at least pure. 
but what they receive, what, what they input, what they input into your mind, into the minds of people is what turned them into such, I mean, it is, it is madness. Okay. So we need to guard our mind. And we're going to be dissecting one skit in particular today. I mean, the subliminal message in this skit, it was so, I mean, I was so angry when I saw it. And I'm just like, what is wrong with these evil bastards, really? Okay, that they keep promoting this garbage as comedy. And they keep suggesting all sorts of horrible things. And they present it to you as comedy. And therefore, you accept it as comedy. And you do not even, maybe you should think about what they're actually telling you and what, and what, what, what they put in these skits, these so-called productions that produce nothing but garbage. Maybe you should actually think about that. Maybe your entertainment should be filtered. Let us gain some wisdom, okay? So, we're going to be looking at this skit. It's a Nigerian skit, you know. I want to focus on my people first before I get to more general problems. But, of course, this is everywhere. So, this is, uh, we're going to be looking at this skit. It's a short skit produced by Adam Victor. I do not advise you to watch any of those skits that that guy produces. No matter who the major actor or actress is there, majority of their skits have negative subliminal messages. In fact, it's everywhere, really, okay? It's everywhere. You're watching movies, you're listening to songs, you're, it's everywhere. So the best you can do is to guard your mind, okay? And stop, better keep watching before they make you a media puppet, before you become a media puppet, okay? You know, it's already happening. It's already happening, you know? Okay, so we're back. So this uh, skit's name is The Haven Client. Kiki, Timmy Agbaje, Daminola Oni. Those are the names of the actors and actresses in that. Okay? So, remember, it's a media construction, right? So, it's all intentionally constructed. Okay? Of course, it's going to seem funny. Of course, it's going to seem captivating, intriguing. How else would they get your mind? How else would they successfully input those negative messages if they don't have your attention? So, that is how they do that. Okay, that is why they do that. They don't, they're not doing it to entertain you. Okay, so let's get that first of all. So let's continue. So let's start with the dissection of this. <laughs> How are you coming? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So first of all, before they, we even start with the actual skit, the song, even the song that they used to introduce, that's why I let it finish playing, okay? Remember, it's all intentionally constructed. There are no mistakes here. There are no mistakes here. They sat down to write the song that they would use as an introduction. They had somebody record it. They input this. They edited it. They did everything, okay? So even the, the lyrics, okay, are projecting a woman in a negative way, okay? Because look, they want everybody to be messed up, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't really, it doesn't matter. Every soul is important to God. So they want, you know, every soul to be perverted. They want every soul to go to hell, okay? So the, even the lyrics, right? So they will not portray, one thing I've noticed with them is, especially with these productions, they will never portray something balanced. They will not portray it, of course, as God wills it to be. Okay? Everything they do really is anti-God, whether subtly or, you know, in a very obvious way or in a not-so-obvious way. Everything they do is anti-God. You know? So, the... So, this right here, for what does God want his creation to be? As a woman, God wants you to be, you know, like him. You know, perfect, good, kind, loving, you know, caring, um, knowing who, what you, who you are, what you're meant to be, and, you know, different things like that. 
but because of the fall of man we, human beings are generally not like that right but we are to you know try our best to be in that way that's why we need jesus and we need the holy spirit to walk in that way okay so what the, they will continually portray because what you see and what you hear is so important is something dysfunctional or someone dysfunctional okay so for example if they are i'm going to mention of course the two genders so and by the way there are only two genders okay in case i need to still say that you know the so if it's a woman if it, the person is a woman they will either portray her as very insecure weak you know on uh what, uh, what do you call it just somebody who doesn't know who she is somebody who you know is easily you know uh, disturbed by the opinions of other people you know always uh, does not um, like herself you know has low self-esteem stuff you know stuff like that you know and it's all it's so irritating and they'll always portray that or they'll portray her as someone very wicked very you know very evil that wants to destroy everybody you know that wants to use her powers to get even with everybody like that is embittered basically and now hurting people you know so both things not good either you know it's like one side of the spectrum to another side of the spectrum but still not good you get all of an evil spectrum so to speak you know because you're not meant to be any of those things and if it's a man they will either make you like you know somebody irresponsible does not take care of his family is always sleeping around perverted like a drunkard alcoholic you know or they will portray you know somebody who is excessively rigid you know a pagan or somebody who is macho so-called not even i know that word macho is even stupid you know, so somebody who is so-called natural and then who is, you know, always aggressive, you know, like that's basically all they portray you as a woman. Somebody who wants to be a woman <laughs> or somebody who is, um, who is gay, who is um, unnecessarily effeminate, you know. So both sides not good, you get. So uh, they always portray dysfunction, you know, while, you know, they don't portray the way God wants it to be. They always portray the way Satan wants it to be. So, and so we need to get our minds because the choices we make will ultimately matter, you know. <clears throat> and of course, who do you want to rule your life? The one who loves you the most or the one who hates you the most? So maybe we should think about that. So now these are, that, that song was meant to portray that because, you know, not say kiki crazy, not say you fire start, not kiki carry matches. Is that, you know, portraying as somebody who is not good, you know. And of course, that's garbage because... You know that was an intentional construction and we don't know who or what any one of these people are truly like you know what's that i'm greasy again you don't dare when you see my job please this time when you see my job please this time when you see my job please this time when you see me to build this type of gigantic house, oh, so no, I'm not so no. When you are calling me, are you coming from Lagos to bring clothes to your bags? I can't walk with you. I really care right now. Eh? Yeah. It's just that um, I love this place because it's very homely. Yeah. It's where I just come to when I want to, you know, catch fresh hair. Yeah. You know, now, look at, I mean, so many things. There's the fake hair thing. They intentionally showed how removing the fake hair and putting it down. Now look at the hair, look at how before and after the fake hair. Is she not even better looking with her natural hair than the stupid fake hair? Okay. Now there's that one. And then they are now they're showing the other lady, other woman. I mean, how her breasts are exposed. I mean, and they continually push this because they're trying to lie to women that your worth is only in your body. And then, you know. Like always, you know, pushing this stupid ideology, this satanic ideology, really, you know, and they're continually pushing that. So they will always show uh, women overexposing themselves all the time. And, you know, and the ones outside too, I mean, people seeing that will now start copying them because they think it's cool. It's not cool. That is satanic. Okay. You know, understand that you are not, I mean, come on. Like, I mean, anyways, we're not focusing on that right now, but let us learn to respect ourselves respect our God, you know, and respect our bodies, okay, because your bo you are not your body, sure, but your body is still a part of you, okay, that's when, okay, to explain further on that one, when the person dies, the body is still there, what has gone, the spirit, the spirit has gone, you know, so you are a spirit in a body, you are not your body, but your body is part of you, 
So you must still, you know, and God called our bodies the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you must still reverence your body and take care of your body and stop exposing it unnecessarily. You know. So that's that. So let's continue on this one. Yeah, you piss me off. I'm angry. Mm-hmm. I just like to, you know, come here. And I feel like hey, one day shall never end. Yeah. So you wanna okay, so imagine that. Look at this. Why is it the the why is it the portrayal of her being angry that you're showing? Right? So okay, by the way, in case you don't understand, this is of course you should understand by watching this. She came to visit her friend and you know she's in this very luxurious place. And then she is now saying she comes here when she's angry. Maybe somebody pissed her off and she's angry. Why must it be that when she's pissed off that she want to come there? Why is it that particular emotion? Anger is not a good emotion. And of course, you are to be there's something that like a righteous anger, sure, you know. But anger generally, you know, is typically not a good emotion. So there is a so this thing, why is it that particular emotion? Why is it that okay, maybe she wants to come and relax or something, or she's having something to do, or maybe she's chilling out with a couple of friends or something like that? Why is it not that one? Why is it where she's angry and upset that they are choosing to portray? Because they're only they only want to portray negativity. If I if they can show you negativity from morning till night, they would do that. But of course they know that people need something to attract them, so they will, so they'll wrap the negativity in something that seems more appealing, you know. And that's what they do with these movies and these kids and these songs. That's what they do. And the adverts and the books, even some books, even, you know. Was coming up, sir. I see one uh, place by Omisha. I agree. I want to be able to come to town. Who they should go out of it? Pick it, stop it. That is aesthetics. Is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, to keep my dress. <laughs> okay, ah, hey. So this is the. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me pick this. And one thing I've noticed as um, funny, right? Of course, you know, it might seem like okay, maybe it's not really a big deal, but it is interesting to note. You know, why is it that the now remember the the enemy also tries to divide tribes? You know, it's not only genders; he tries to divide, he tries to divide tribes, races, groups. Anyway, it can cause division. Anything that God does not want, that's what He always pushes. You get, you know, God wants us to be unified. The enemy wants us to be, you know, arguing with each other all the time. So, you know, <laughs> of course, let's not follow the enemy. So the so there is this thing. Okay, where where was I again? Okay. Okay, right. Um, why is it that when the for my tribe in particular, like I've said to you before, I'm Nigerian. I'm Nigeria. I'm Yoruba by tribe. You know. So the why is it that the breakout? You know. Um, Yoruba actress, you know. I've seen two examples of this now. It's always one that is uneducated. It's always one that is not not necessarily completely uneducated, but you know, not very. I mean, how can I put it? Of course, this is not who they are in real life. Okay, for example, um, um, this this lady here is also an example of that. But let's look at a somebody who is more famous than she is, you know. So, Funke Akidele, she's a Nigerian actress. Okay, she's a Yoruba actress. She was even running for, um, I think, vice president the, in the last election. Now, she's a lawyer by actual profession before she started acting, before she started to go into acting. Now, her breakout role was Jennifer's Diary. Okay, and Jennifer's Diary really is portraying somebody who is completely uneducated, who is really some a bit of a rascal, you know, who cannot speak properly, who is, um, you know, not, does not have such a solid foundation, okay? And she's a lawyer, okay? So that's obviously not the truth in real life. But they chose to portray that, okay? So it is, it is interesting to note that. And now that this woman here again, this uh, Kiki here, now, at least, she got popular through skits, but at least now her skits are pretty popular, you know. So, the she also has this uh, this facade, this uh, thing of somebody who cannot speak properly, somebody who is always, you know, who does not have a good foundation. Basically, what I was just describing, but with somebody else, you know. 
and it, and that was her breakout role also you know so i think it is of course it's all intentional really so but there's definitely a purpose for that you know so that's interesting to note anyways let's continue Okay, I'll be right back. Yes, ma'am. Because of Kavari, go on, continue. Ah, ah! night television, what will kitchen cabinet in the What will kitchen now look like? I'll be West Kitchen. There will be kitchen in this thing. Ah! Jesus! Look at the kitchen in. You know, they. No! There's a difference between Elaine and not a kitchen. This is a kitchen. Everything they do. Ah! And that way, so nice, so kind of lady. She will look where I'm coming. I can't teach you be this big. Kiki, I'm so sorry. Now, first of all, obviously, they they like to do these things. It's sort of like an anti climax thing, but or, or like a contrast sort of thing. You know, it's not really like an anti climax thing. But it's like if they know that the next scene is evil. Let's say somebody, if they have a scene with two people and the second person is about to do something that is not good, they will state to the first person praising them or saying something positive about them so that the contrast of what they actually do is more significant, is more prominent because they just said that this person is a good person. They just said that this person is good and kind. But the next scene, you're showing the person doing something horrible. Okay. So to, to really project this notion that people can't be trusted, you know, and if you, you know, of course, we all have to work towards being better people. And I think that's something our generation and really the whole world really needs to hear, you know, so, so that, uh, that, so that's exactly what they just did now again, saying, you know, okay, I saw kind of lady, this, that, this, that, but knowing fully well, well, what they're going to show next is not so palatable. Where's this babe? Kiki! Kiki! Where's the very power of my room? Where's. Ah! 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 Please. I don't know how to do it. I don't know Can you imagine? Kiki! Oh, beauty! How they put that, you know, those little things that they put there, it really annoys me, it really irritates me. Because they, they always put those, I'm sure you know what they are, those little sounds when the skit is being played to increase the drama or to increase the you know, the particular feeling that they are trying to project, you know, when they say, hey, or, you know, when they say, oh, bearing, like, because the enemy is all trying to push the vision, right? So it's trying to cause men to think, or even women to women too, that women can be trusted. So that's why you hear things like that when they input it in the skits and stuff like that. Just say, oh, bearing. Okay, now they said, oh, bearing. What did she even do? She, she, she scooped something and she put it in her mouth. She scooped rice and she put it in her mouth. And that is the cause for overing. You see, they are very irritating, actually, you know, because it's ultimately to project. Of course, they make it seem like it's just comedy, whatever, you know. But they are doing it intentionally to project this um, negative mindset and this negative worldview, you know. So it's not just comedy. You know, so you have to guard your mind. These people are satanic, you know. Everybody should work towards being trustworthy. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, certainly everybody needs to work towards being trustworthy. I don't, I don't know. When I just saw, I maybe just wanted to. Good afternoon, ma. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah. Hope you have enjoyed your stay at the Avon so far, ma. We have. I, I can even see you enjoying yourself because your friends have been coming in, and I like the house party you did yesterday. But I want to remind you, ma. Two of your friends, they, there was a man that said he was drunk and in this space with a lady. He was in two bed apartment, and oh. I was in one bed apartment. So. We'll be adding those to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you're welcome. That's, that's how we're doing this one. It's yeah. home away from all. I even like the fact that you're... You see again, the next thing, all they project is negative. Like, if, I mean, it doesn't really even take much. Just think about it for a second. Just think of what they show you as comedy and what they show you as movies. 
I mean, just think of the underlying current. Just think of the suggestions. If you've not been completely desensitized to it yet, if you still have some sort of good conscience, just think of what they project to you. Just think of what the songs th- talk about. Just think of what the movie suggests. Just think of even the skits, right? I mean, it is evil. No, this... This uh, scene here again, I just said um, the, a young man walked in, right? And he was talking to both of us, to the two, to the two women. And he said, okay, ma, you know, this, that, um, for the house party you had yesterday, you know, this, that, that a young a man, or maybe he said young man or man, who was drunk, now said he needed space with a lady. And then, you know, is now in bed, uh, now, they now took a room apartment or something like that. Again, to suggest either adultery or fornication, both not good, right? So they didn't have to put that in there. They didn't have to add that to the scene. They wrote everything that is being acted here. Somebody wrote this, or a couple of people wrote this, and they, then they played it out, right? They didn't have to put that there. They chose to put that there, to embed that suggestion in your mind. It was intentional. So you must understand that they are evil, but they are clever. Okay. You must understand that most of these things you watch, especially the big productions, are demon-inspired. Okay. They are motivated by demons. Demons are spirits. They like to copy what the Holy Spirit does. But of course, they can never compare to the Holy Spirit. But they do try to inspire, quote unquote, inspire people. And most of these things that you watch are inspired by them. And what the, what is demon? I want to, I want to define the word right. You know, from daimonia, the the Greek word daimonia. Daimonia means intelligent ones. Okay. So even though they are evil, even though you must shun their work, they are still incredibly brilliant. Okay, and they have been around for thousands of decades or thousands of years, and they have studied the human mind, they have studied the human nature. Okay, and they understand certain things about us that even some of us might not understand about ourselves. So they have the ability to to work through people because man has been given free will, so they must still work through people, just like God also. Of course, God is the supreme being, God has to work through people, they also have to work through people. And they manifest their evil through these productions that these people make. You know. Let us let us guard our minds. Okay. So that was an intentional embedding. You know, they're they are not good people. You know, it is not just entertainment. Okay. Now, what I would really advise you is to stop watching them. I certainly don't. I have I have good Christian things that I watch that fuel my faith and help me understand more of my purpose, and not this uh, this 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 garbage that you continually pervert your mind with. So let's let's continue. I'm making use of our facilities. Mm-hmm. We have a lounge, we have a swimming pool, we have 24 hour security. Sorry, yeah. sorry, I just want to. Do you have internet? I want to download more fish. 24 hours internet, unlimited downloads, man. Thank you, that's yes. good. Oh, you're also a friend. Ah! Oh, you're licking your hand. Oh, we we did little together. Oh, you take it in. Beauty. I feel like our food, mama. Hey, me to ask you, like, what did she have in that still? Oh, beautiful. Very yeah. lovely food. So, so, ma, there seems to be a mistake, ma. You are forgetting something. This is day five, ma. And since you make the first payment for the first day, you are yet to make payments, ma, for the many four days. Mr. Manager, I have to come in down. I'm calm. I told you now, as soon as I'm on my way, I'm going to, you know, settle the payment. Exactly. The problem is, it's past checkout time already, and... We... See how they didn't show her face when she was saying that? See how they don't show their faces when they say certain things? You know, especially things that establish them as people, you know, because, huh, trust me, I say the enemy is twisted and dark, okay? Completely. So, um, 
But anyways, you can watch some of the previous videos to understand more of that one. So that's we have of people, we have demand here actually. Okay, I'm going to double the price. We don't want you to double the money. We don't want ah. you to just pay the money you owe us. Like it's a good thing. She's not to say like it's a good thing because they want you to think it's cool to be evil. You get because they want you to think it's cool to be evil. That's why they say I can't wait to be bad because they want you to think that it's cool to aspire to be bad. That's why they say very good bad guy. So I think that it's a good thing to be a bad guy. That's why they they deceive you with their with their music and with their songs and with their their movies and all that other things that they use. You know. How do you mind? She's not living in the world. The plate of rice she took, man. Extra beef, man. When then? She will pay for it. Like, I don't yeah. understand. You, you don't understand. Why are you shouting? You're just raising your voice. You're raising your voice. What is it? You can't tell that. Excuse me. You never see anything. You never see anything. Just that. I'm fairly wary. You want to see some friends? You don't want to speak English in this country. You don't. You don't Sorry, man. Do you want to see some friends? Do you think that this place was built on charity? He's your friend now. Okay, so, I mean, like I've said, these people, I mean, it's a very. A friend of, you know, like a, an acquaintance actually sent me this, uh, or he posted it, or something like that. You know, sent me. Uh, there was this skit, you know, about uh, the, this young lady. It was it was to show a, a negative behavior in a relationship on the part of the man. Okay, so and it was you know very annoying. And he he, he now said, "Are they truly men that behave like this?" I now sent him a message that that is what they use to deceive your mindset to make you think that people. I mean, that maybe people are doing that, so maybe it's, it's somehow acceptable. You know, that's how they, they're they using the media to deceive you, to make you think that evil things are okay, you know. And I we really got that, you know. So, anyways, we all need to get it. So that is, you see, what they just showed now is, you know, similar to that. Because he just pulled, she was trying to, you know, leave. And then he now kind of pulled her back in an aggressive manner, you know. that is That is completely unacceptable, you know. How would, I mean, it's ridiculous. Because, like I said, this is ultimately a satanic agenda. Okay? So, when God wants love to be between you and your spouse, the enemy will, guess what? We want hate to be between you and your spouse. So, let us guard our minds. Satan wants us all to go to hell. And how will that happen if we make the wrong choices? If we continually make the wrong choices and ignore Jesus? And you can't have Jesus and the Holy Spirit and not start to want to make the right choices. Okay, that is, that's simply it. You know, so this, uh, look at this, right? And now the next thing that they're going to show, which is the major reason why I even picked this one, because it's so, I, I mean, it shows, now, I mean, they are evil. Okay, they are evil. Look, look at how they, just even as you're watching, you can even sense the suggestion. Okay, because remember, most of these negative influences are embedded or are sent to you as suggestions. Okay, because you can't be forced to do anything. You get even God, like God cannot force us. That's why people go to hell. If God could do it, nobody would go to hell. But He has given you free will. So that means your choices will determine where you go or not. So He cannot force you to do anything. And Satan also cannot force you to do anything. But they, they send suggestions. They send suggestions that make you think, oh, maybe it's my own choice. Maybe it's my own decision because I saw it somewhere, you know, and it has influenced me negatively. Well